Hi, this is Mr. Word. I'm going to talk about a couple more uh, question on uh, the 2018 Math MCAS for eighth grade. Um, I'm going to talk about number 32. Uh, number 32 is an open response, um, so I'll try to answer it a little bit like an open response. You don't have to go super detailed, but you do need to explain what you're doing uh, as you go. So we have Colton uh, is uh, heating up uh, this pot of water. And he records the temperature of the water in the pot every minute. This equation models Colton's data. I'm going to tell you, this looks like a word problem. It's a pretend word problem because they've given you the equation. I think that's lame, but that's okay. We're going to give them cast what they want so we can do more interesting things. So X represents the number of minutes. So we got 7.5 times time plus 40 equals Y, which is the temperature of the water. So X is number of minutes the water has been heated, <coughs> and Y is the temperature of the water in degrees Fahrenheit. So the first question asks, what does the coefficient 7.5 in the equation represent in the context of this situation? Well, 7.5 represents the change in temperature for every minute the pot has been heated. So let me just say 7, uh, 7.5 represents the change in temperature, in water temperature, for every one minute the pot has been heated. And that's what it represents. And I'm going to move that so you can actually see what I wrote. So 7.5 represents the change in water temperature for every one minute the pot has been heated. We know this because it is multiplied by time, which is x. Okay, what does the 40 value represent in the equation? in the context of the situation. Okay, well the 40 uh, represents, okay, 40 represents the starting temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. We know this because when Time is zero. Temperature Y would be 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and this is also known as this is the Y intercept. Okay. If you wanted to, you could note that 7.5 is also representing the slope. Okay, so I'll just make a note of that. 7.5 is the slope or rate of change. Okay, and that's the type of thing that might help you get four points on a question like this. Let me see if I can move this so it's more viewable. It's a little better there. Okay, I'm going to move this one so it's a little more viewable. Maybe stretch it out and then move it. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, now, what is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit of Colden's pot of water after 16 minutes? Well, minutes is X, so we're just going to replace X with 16. So we can just do the equation. Y, which is temperature, equals 7.5 times 16 plus 40, and then we can just solve that. 7.5 times 16 is the same as 15 times 8. And 15 times 8 is 120. And then we're going to add 40. And so the temperature should be 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And then water boils at 212 degrees after 16 minutes of heating. How much additional time to the nearest minute will be needed to, for all the water to boil? Okay, so we know that at 16 minutes we've gotten to 160 degrees. So 
what we need to know is how much time uh, to go from uh, 160 to 212. To do that, we subtract <coughs> um, 212 minus 160, which is going to equal 52. <coughs> and then you're going to replace y with 52. And this will give us the amount of time um, that we need. Um, so actually, we actually can ignore the 40 in this case. So what we need to do is divide 52 by the rate. Okay, so divide 52 by the rate of change of 7.5 degrees increase per minute. Okay, and that'll tell us how many minutes we need. So 52 divided by 7.5. Um, which, by the way, will be the same as 104 divided by 15. And 105 is actually a multiple of 15, so um, we'll be able to get that fairly easily. That's going to be about 7. This is going to come into a little less than like 6.9-ish. So about 7 minutes equals about 7 minutes uh, to bring the pot to a boil. And at that point, the temperature is actually not going to increase un until all the water is boiled and you'd have to capture it as a vapor. It's just going to stay at the boiling temperature as it boils away. Uh, but that's not about this question. That's about science. And I hope that was helpful.